Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between controller and helper, and we'll be explaining the benefits of helper. So let's understand the benefits of helper first, how uh, we can use helper in Lightning Aura component. So if you want to reuse your functions defined in helper, so uh, for that purpose, you can create helper file. So normally uh, we create functions in controller, but if you want to reuse your functions in controller or maybe in renderer JavaScript file, so you can define those functions in helper and then you can use them. So uh, I'm just uh, taking you to a lightning or a component. So here you can see we have controller, we have helper and we have renderer. So all these are JavaScript files. So generally we prefer this client side controller so that we can control events, uh, system events, browser events or custom events. But if you have lots of logic or you want to reuse your code, so uh, you can shift your logic or a reusable code into helper and then uh, you can call those methods or functions into controller. Even the methods or functions which are defined in helper uh, you can call them in the renderer file as well because it is also a javascript file use helper for defining data processing task and queuing server side actions so sometimes it is recommended like uh, if you want to uh, link your or a component with server side controller that is your apex so that code you can implement in helper and that helper you can call in the controller and that controller function will be uh, further linked with your uh, any button or any event, right? So next is helper functions are local to the component. So uh, they are available with the component itself. They improve code reusability. Uh, you can move the code from controller to helper whenever possible so that you can better manage your controller and all the business logic will be available in the helper. Then helper function can be called from any JavaScript code in a components bundle such as, uh, so helper method can be called from client side controller or it can be called from renderer as well. So I will be demonstrating that as well, like how uh, we can do that. So uh, for example, here we have this uh, helper method implemented. So uh, here we can receive parameters as well. So let's say I'm receiving this parameter. So now here in controller, how I can call that method. So I'm just copying this name. And this way I can call it from the controller. So from controller, I am calling the helper method that is uh, defined here. And here you can write your logic. Okay, now if you want to call your uh, method in uh, uh, this renderer file as well, so how uh, you can do that so so here uh, basically you will be uh, writing the code and uh, so i'm just implementing after render Now here uh, you can simply use this statement. So I'm just copying and pasting it here, right? So this way, whenever this renderer file will be executed uh, on after render uh, event, so this uh, helper method will be called and it will be executed. So this way you can call this method in controller as well as in renderer. Even helper functions can be called within helper itself by another function. So that is also possible. So if you have multiple functions, so you can do that. So I'm going to show you that right away. So in helper, so let's say we have these uh, two methods. So this is helper method three, which will be receiving two variables. And I'm just calling this helper method in helper method two. So we can call helper method three individually as well. And uh, this helper method three is called in helper method two as well. So whenever you will be calling helper method two, so three will be uh, executed automatically, right? So this way uh, you can link uh, your helper methods with other methods. 
So helper functions are similar to client side controller function in shape. shape. So this you saw like uh, uh, how we implemented this function, my action. Similarly, we are implementing this, these helper methods. So now you might be thinking when to use controller and when to use helper. So uh, this, these three points will uh, clear all your doubts. So you can use controllers to listen to user events and other events like component and application events, but you can delegate your business logic to helper. So for example, on your component, you have used a button. If you click on that button, so event will be generated. So that event can be handled through controller. And then the actual business logic you can define in the helper that you can call in the controller itself. Do similar delegation in all render function like render, re-render and so on. So here, uh, like we have this renderer file. So in this re renderer file, we can define render, re-render, after render. So in every method, like you can uh, call that helper method. Whenever you need to call one controller function from another controller function, so in that case, move that code to helper. So in controller, it is uh, difficult to call a method uh, in another method. So in that case, what you can do, you can you can shift your uh, reusable code to helper, and then you can call that into separate uh, controller methods, right? So let me show you one more uh, quick example so that uh, you understand like. Uh, how, uh, like if you are uh, interacting with your Apex controller, so how uh, you can reuse that code in uh, controller and renderer. So I am in this helper and in this helper, okay, so before uh, moving to helper, let me just implement a function in controller. So I'm going to implement a function in controller. So. Uh, this is call server function, which is uh, having this implementation. And in after render, I am going to define this, right? So uh, this piece of code I am calling here as well and here in this controller as well. So controller and render both are having the same uh, line of code. So what we can do, we can jump to this helper and in this helper, we can create that method. So I'm going to create that method here. So I'm just removing these and pasting it here. So in this helper, I am having this call server, right? And uh, uh, it will be receiving two parameter component comma helper, right? Now what uh, we can do, we can call this method in the controller. So instead of writing it here, what I can do, I can write helper dot call server and uh, this helper is uh, expecting two parameters so we can pass cmp and helper right and same we can do here as well so i'm just copying this statement pasting it here so this way, this action uh, is basically uh, calling the method, this get accounts, which will be available in the Apex controller. So this we implemented in the helper, and this is being called in controller as well as in renderer. Now in controller, if you want to uh, call it again, so what you can do, you can simply implement one more function. So let's say call server one, and you can call this uh, call server method, which is defined in helper once again. So this way you can reuse your code that is defined in the helper, in the controller, as well as in the renderer. And also remember, like if you want to pass some parameter, additional parameters. So let's say I am having one variable as param one. So now you can pass some value. So let's say test. Here also you can pass test. And from here also, you can pass test. So this test value will be stored in this param one and uh, later on you can uh, use it in this helper for processing. So other than that, uh, these uh, parameters, you can pass additional values to helper method as well. So this is all about uh, controller, helper and render, like how uh, you can communicate between these three JavaScript files in Lightning or a component. So I hope you understood uh, what is the importance of helper and how we can reuse the code, which is defined in helper. 
and we can call that code in controller as well as in renderer.